it's an absolute gem of a floor. I talked to Larry Rizak about it the other day. He said that top layer of wood is only 5 8 inch. That's it. He said otherwise it's uh, plywood. A layer of plywood one way, a layer of plywood the other way, and some rubber underneath of it. And I talked to Morgan about it also, and he said, yes, it's a suspended floor. And um, both Egan and both Hilliard said, this could run you over 200 grand if you place that floor. <coughs> they don't make that floor anymore. So you have an absolute jewel that you're sitting here on. Um, and you saw from their recommendations, they recommend 20 to 25 years from now, a sand down, unless of course you want to change logos. You know? When I ask um, Morgan why they changed, why they sanded down, and he had said, originally Dell Ames had told me he thought it was because there was logos on the floor, but then Morgan had told me no there wasn't. Um, he said they sanded it because it was getting yellow. And he said, of course at the same time was the Russell Means you know, saying we need to get rid of the lawyers. So he said they just put Mini Oakdale on the ends of the on the baseboard. But I said, on the baseline, I said, but well, we still put warriors on the floor though, you know. The word warriors he didn't, you know, in both spots. But that's what Glenn said. He said it was because it was getting yellow, you know. Um, both Egan and both Hilliard inspected the floor. They said it was a great floor, it's in great shape. You know, and you saw their, their recommendations it was I don't think you should get in this quite a hurry yet about sending it down. I That's do. interesting. I didn't, I didn't see the email, um, but Hilliard is the one that couldn't get the black off the floor. He couldn't get it screened off. Well, I asked him what the black was, and he did not know what you were talking about. I said, I can take you all down. Okay. I don't want to get into that. My, my question I do have, though, is... Um, I've, I've never heard this business about the box, the coach's box, which is a new regulation. So, are you telling me that all the gym floors are going to be sanded down to put on a coach's box? Or am I missing something here? Like I'm, I'm asking. If, I'm, I was going to say, asking, if you want me to comment, I can. Question. I I don't know. I can't speak for everybody else, but. What I can tell you is that during a game this year, mm -hmm. we were told that I could not I, I could not leave the coach's box, which is roughly five foot right now. It the new rule is it is extended to I and I can't remember uh, the specific feet and inches with it, but it it extends almost uh, four or five feet off the baseline. Off the baseline. So, I mean, that, that's what I was told. Uh, we put down some athletic tape at halftime, one game, mm -hmm. on both sides. So you just painted a line at that spot, it'd be good? Yep, yeah, that's, what, that's <coughs> what the new coach's box is. That could be done right on top of the uh, four fence gym floor. Yeah. But again, my point is, not my point is, if there's a rule change, and if there is a rule change, and obviously there's a rule change, apparently the box is a bigger coach's box now, is that correct? Correct. All right? So that anybody, all the schools who don't have their boxes marked, they're going to have to sand their floors down and mark their boxes? I suppose that's at the discretion of the school. Or the referee? And the referee, both. Okay. So... <laughs> You know. Well, if you have the, all the board members have the email from Patrick, who works for Hilliard, and did the work on the floor last year. In his last paragraph, he says, On the issue of the overall condition and playability of the gym floor, as you may or may not know, Hilliard has been in the gym floor, floor maintenance business for, over, for almost 108 years. Now, I myself have been in, the, in this industry for over 25 years. It is my opinion that the floor is in decent condition for its age and needs only resurfacing, not sanding. And he has an exclamation point behind sanding. The sanding process does shorten the overall lifespan of the floor and is unnecessary at this time unless we are changing, unless you were changing names, logos, etc. With that being said, I would be more than happy to work with the custodial staff 
Four, to ensure the maintenance of the pro program is followed as directed by the Hilliard technical staff. These practices are followed by countless school districts and NCAA facilities at all levels and are proven to help maintain looks and performance levels facilities desire. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this issue. Patrick mentioned in a conversation with Dave that Hilliard did the floor for the final four this year. I think they're more than qualified to make an opinion on our gym floor. Up to the board. Obviously, the, everything through 76 is pretty self explanatory. Do we agree on that? I would absolutely agree. That's one of the only questions that we have is through 70, 77 on it, number two, 95. I was in 96 through 100 million, or some of them, we get done as the budget allows us to get as the things come in, correct? Is that uh, our yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So then it boils down to what do we want to do from 77 to 95? Exactly. Well, even 1 through 76 are, are, are time restricted, correct? I mean, there's only so much that's going to get done in the summer. Right. This is a fluid document, guys. Some of these things will not happen. Um, and some things will take priority over some of the things that are on the list. How about if we... In your vein of discussion, how about if we make a motion to accept 1 through 76 as we got, as presented? Well, typically, you'll fall, fall apart like a maximum, like custodial projects, maximum, and you set that. That's what we've done in years past. And then you can discuss what you want after that. <coughs> When you said that Rob did high on one of those, could we just set the maximum at 1500 since that's the highest one for 1 through 76? Um, you just typically do a grand total, Krista, so because some of these things won't happen. So, yeah, 76 is actually $20,805. Um, I like your idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's 101000 budgeted for repair type of things. So, okay. Yeah, so... Custodial projects, maximum, block. But not all these things are going to be done, right? No, and some things, like I said, will get added to the list in place of something else because <coughs> an air conditioner goes out in someone else's room or more. <coughs> but that would, I would assume that would, would that come back up for discussion? Probably not. Okay. Custodial team moves, I meet with them weekly, we only meet with the board once a month. So that's why they set a maximum on that, and then something else has to go in order for something else to get done. Last year, I think our project total, even with our special project, was right at uh, 38000 So the board said summer projects plus special building projects not to exceed, and I think last year it was 50000 Just Jenny could look at the minutes uh, from last year. Um, of course, we've got a few more things that were budgeted. But up to the board's discretion as to what they want to do. So um, you could say summer and building grounds project list not to exceed um, eliminating uh, 78, the gym floor, which would eliminate the 19.5 and the 2700, but it would add back in the 3500. <coughs> so that, that's how that would work. Um, because again, we do refinish it every year. 40. So if you have. I understand what you're saying now. Mm -hmm. Is the total? Well, I guess that's just for special projects. So I'm sorry, I need to do yes. a little math. <laughs> yes, custodial projects is right at twenty grand. Right now, the projects that have been bid, where dates have been solidified, are at sixty-five thousand. Yeah, that's what we bid on the last one. Okay, and so that's the one that So we got a total on here of eighty-two thousand dollars. Is that correct? Yes. Eighty-two thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. We have a few of those projects and special bid that come in. Right. right. Eighty-two thousand. But it seems like <coughs> Kevin's bid was under four. It was thirty-seven or something like that. And he didn't have concrete on it. Well, it is. 
fix all those things over there, Dave, is, is worth about ten thousand dollars. Which one am I missing? Well, I, I don't know, but the, the, the total bill for for everything that he was going to fix, including installing the door over there. So it's going to be Kenyon could fix those fire marshal projects for I'm going to say around eight thousand or so. Build the wall. <clears throat> so if we do, so let's call it ninety-two thousand. Because you were talking about wanting a limit. <coughs> yes, yes. I like a limit, and then Linda keeps track of things as they come in, and then I give you an update in June as to regard how much money has been set, uh, spent so far, and percentage of projects that have been completed and reprioritization of those projects. Anything new that's been brought to the custodian's attention that needs to be addressed. Well, I, th <clears throat> I mean, it, what would be really nice would be to get those gutters and downspouts to know, and get a bid on that and, and know what we're after. That would be nice to fix. And the deal with that is or that ties into the fire marshal where in order to complete his task there with the sidewalk, we need to get this water issue fixed. And so for me, the, the downspouts and, and the, the leak in the basement are, are a high priority. But as of today, we don't have any idea what those would cost. But it, it would be nice to make room. I don't think it matters, does it? No, it's got to be fixed. Right, right. <clears throat> totally agree. Cool. We don't have to put a cap on it, but I would prefer a cap. But if we went with, if we went with um, the total, the total deal is eighty-two thousand. If we took twenty-two thousand off for the, for the redoing the gym floor, sanding the gym floor, that puts us at sixty-two thousand. Hang on, we're getting twenty-two. Because it's it's uh, nineteen and twenty-seven. Okay, okay. Okay. So just yeah. yeah. So, and then you have to add that thirty-five hundred. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So if we, went, if we went to 62 and then add 35 back, that puts us at 60, 65.5. And then for the sake of, of Kenan, if we went with 10, that would be 75.5. Okay. Okay. Is that, a, is that a large number in the past compared to the past? No, we've got 111,000 budget a day, so we're fine. It's larger, but there's also more Right, right, but there's also a there's also mm -hmm. kitchen that's got to get done. Mm -hmm. But now that would probably come out of her budget. Mm -hmm. But for the, mm -hmm. for the fire marshal, at some point we have to address those issues with right. the fire marshal. The hood, the hood and, and things like that, because she's got um, equipment in her budget line as well. So just throwing it out there, so the only hiccup we have on all this stuff mostly is the uh, okay. that this crap. Yeah. 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 I realize the need to change boxes and stuff like that throughout the years, but I'm, if something would happen, you know, if you'd ever have a water or some some weird thing happen where you absolutely had to sand it, you've lost that opportunity. We should have lots of discussion before we have a motion. That keeps the building and grounds committee out of trouble. Is there any, do you have any other ideas? Throw it out there then, let's see what we got. I make a motion to approve the building or the uh, 
one through uh, 95, not exceed $80,000 with the setting of 78 or 79. Those would be out, and number 12 would be back in. We'll second that. 78 and 79 would be out, and number 12 would be back in. Motion the second. Did you catch that, Jenny, what Brad was saying? Did you say yes, you did? Um, I have a question about about the, the carpet in the, in the concession stand. And the question the question is, is um, does anyone know is the concrete out in the front of the session? Concession stand the same as it is on the inside. I do not know. My question becomes: Is it asbestos tile? Is that your question? No, it's because it was not in the back storage area. So you're assuming that what was in the back storage area that they replaced. My suggestion is: Would it be same. wiser just to, if, just to pull the carpet up? And if there's yeah, very very good, I mean, if the kind. What's, what am I trying to say? The the no, all the concrete is with the crushed rock or whatever. If the, con if the concrete Thrazzle. surface is good enough, could it be frazzled? Could That's be sealed all I and want. Finished? I don't want carpet again. I just want that ripped out. You want In the back, surface. we put those. Can I talk? Yes. yes. <laughs> if they call on you, they should, you can. <laughs> In the back, they put those little tiles that they bought some, you know, the pieces. That's all we want. It's impossible to keep the stains up off that carpet. It's war. It looks terrible. And you, uh, if a health inspector walked in there, you'd get nailed for those kind of things. Right, and but what, I'm saying, gonna, not, not, what I'm saying is, could you tear this, could you pull the concrete up and paint the concrete floor? I would be more than happy. I don't, I don't know, but I'd like to see some of that. Right, but we have a $4,000 to put tile down. Well, and I don't think it was 4000 The custodians did the project in the back room, Lisa, where it was all busted up. Mm -hmm. and, and it did not run 4000 Okay, so this is going to be at somebody's discretion here. We don't okay. know what we're going to run into, but right. yeah, that, that's high. I wanted to ask that question before we move forward. Okay. All right, we have a motion and a second on the floor. <coughs> is there any other discussion? Hearing none, Jenny, would you proceed with the roll call vote? Higgins. Yes. Ranky. Yes. Coinson. Yes. Right. Yes. Schindler. Yes. Ford. Yes. 